Híjole, ma, ¿qué, ¿qué tal si? Aquí está. Are you sure we don't? Are you sure we don't um, need to bring anything? He said no. Call him back and ask. Oh, you, you, you already asked him? He, he, no, he told me. He said, just leave. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me. Hypnotized. By the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight. Hold tight. Can't make calls collide. Hold tight. Hold tight. Do you want me to just call him? Yeah, just call okay, him. Okay, ma, déjame hablarle para preguntar, ¿verdad? Órale, este, pues, pero ahí te mantengo comunicada, ma. Órale, pues, mi okay, pues, ma. Suerte. Okay, Ay, no, te quiero. Te quiero mucho. Yo también. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Guys, I got the call for my lungs. I was literally in the office with the client and I saw the phone ring and it said lung transplant and they don't usually call me this late and I don't know why I figured it, may, it must be you know just like the computer <clears throat> trying to remind me for my appointment this Friday because actually that has happened um, but then the part of me, I'm like wait so I'm talking to my clients I'm like do you mind if I take this because you know, it's, it's it's from my my clinic, and uh, they're like, yeah, sure, and they they know about my CF, <clears throat> and sure enough, it's uh, my team saying, hey, we have some lungs for you. They look very good. It's not a high risk, but because you live so far, we need you to leave right now. Um, so they prayed for me real fast. And Abby's in the car just you guys <laughs> and I'm like and I don't think she understood what I was saying and my clients are like right next to like next park next and I'm like babe I got lungs you know and but um yeah guys so we're putting gas because we had no gas so we have to go so yeah Big dog. It's getting no luck. About to follow you over there. You're about to follow you over there. Is Ava there? No, Ava's not here. Stella's here. But we're gonna bring Ava. Up. We're gonna go get her, and we're gonna we're literally gonna go get her, get food, and have down there, sure. and we'll be there. It's the same place. Uh, the, yeah, in the hospital, but through the ER. Okay. Yeah. Show them the last time that you're breathing. I know, man. You see this cheek, homeboy? It's so funny because I was asking to get her replaced. A portable one, man. It's the last time. No. Uh, All right, big dog. Crazy. Go. You guys need to go. Yeah. Let's I'll see go. You guys. Love you. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello. Hey. Hey. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yes. I did get my labs done yesterday. Um, well, whatever labs they put in for, I did them, and I also did an X-ray. An X-ray. Yeah. So they should have drawn the H-ray lab. Okay. Sounds good, Luis. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. <coughs> this is crazy. Let me call Evan. 
Ay, no. Quítense carros porque no I know. Okay guys, we're here and we're about to pay for parking. Yeah, even though I'm getting new lungs, they still want me to pay, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna play. Yeah. Well, we'll update you when we can. Hey guys, so we are here at the hospital um, and it's about 1.17 in the morning and basically what is happening is there is someone ahead of Jose that um, possibly might get the lungs but we won't know until I think they get in surgery. So we're waiting till about two, three, four in the morning. And if for some reason the lungs don't work out with that patient, then Jose will get them. Um, and yeah, we really don't know. Honestly, we won't have an answer till around two, three, or four. Um, and yeah, this is called a dry run where, well, we don't know if it's a dry run yet, but basically where you get all worked up, you do all the tests, you come, and for some reason, it's just not a match. So we're trying to stay positive, um, but we know that if it doesn't happen this time, then it just wasn't meant to be. But. Yeah. I'm reading all your guys' sweet messages and prayers and all the comments and I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, my family's here and I'm just laying down. <coughs> and then Jose is over there too. I don't know if I can show you guys. So, it's just sleeping. Yeah, so we're honestly just waiting, watching some YouTube, praying, trying to fall asleep and take a nap, but can't really sleep. So I will update you guys when we have a for sure answer. Love you guys. All right, guys, so we are home, finally, without new lungs. <laughs> Same old me. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, when I got the call, um, you know, they, they told me to get there as soon as possible, and, you know, they said, 
you always have to be realistic and you know whether there's another recipient um or not there's always a possibility that after further inspection you know the doctor or the surgeon may decide you know what these are good lungs after all so the point is it can happen but it may not happen as well um once we got there <clears throat> We ended up um, finding out that there was another recipient, mm -hmm. and he was actually um, ahead of me, and so he had higher priority. And <clears throat> now they don't disclose, you know, location, um, anything pretty much, uh, but they did say that if it doesn't turn out good for him or her, then I'm next in line, you know. But because we don't want to just kind of put this on chance that's why they always encourage people you know to go to go because like i said if they waited for that scenario and it turns out that you know that person is it's just the lungs aren't a match and then they're like okay well jose's next you know just according to <clears throat> to um the i guess like the list and i'm not even around um or at least not anywhere near the hospital and then, <clears throat> and it just pushes things, you know, um, back. And so the whole point is to be take the initiative, take this with as much urgency as possible, and get there. And so that's what we did, you know. But like I said, um, after they prepped me and put IVs, and you know, they started to pretty much do lab works and then all the stuff that is required to just kind of get you ready, so that if there is a green light, you're set to go. Um, is when we found out about the situation and <clears throat> they're pretty forward yeah and it, it just kind of sucks because they I just wish they would have said that over the phone so I mean we would have gone either way but I guess we would have like gone open-minded of like hey this could or could not happen but through the phone it, it just kind of seemed like it was looking good and you know not that he was like a second option mm -hmm. which it sucks to think about it like that because like I was telling Jose earlier I think everyone is like a second option like the, the person that could have been waiting or the person that was waiting for the lungs today could have been you know like a, that could have been their second dry run you know so we just don't know and you know they talked about dry runs when they prepared us for transplant well you always hope that it never happens because i mean just to be a, a part of this journey all the way exciting you know what you're in for and you know i just didn't think it was going to happen to us yeah no absolutely I, I didn't think so either i honestly figured you know what when i least expect it i'll get my call you never um, think those things are going to happen to you you're yeah. like okay yeah but you know and no, that's why the whole roller coaster of emotions because it really was like I mean, oh my god, I feel like I got like sucker punched in like the stomach. Yeah. Like, I feel like I felt so much joy, <coughs> and then even though like you're still here, you're still you know somewhat healthy and you're fine, and nothing has really changed, but you like you know, we were this so, close, yeah. You got, I got so happy, like extremely happy and then to be told that you just like felt the mood in the room kind of like change. we're just like quite what but what can you know, we do uh, but the great thing about this situation is that they were able to disclose that my name has actually come up more than once yeah you know in fact it's come out a few times and you know they're very cautious and the goal is always to make sure that they find the perfect match for you to pretty much <clears throat> expect a better success story after surgery and, and you know, as you recover. So, I, I, you know, that was something that me and Abby, especially I myself, wondered. Yeah, we didn't know. Like, man, does my name, I think I would even ask my doctor at some point. Does my name um, ever pop up? Does my name ever, yeah, does, do they even, even if they don't necessarily call me, but it would be nice to know that, hey, I'm showing up. But they never really gave me a, like a yes or no. It's it's so gen general, you know. These are the terms. This is where you're at. 
all across the nation, you know? Okay. So I know that I'm just one of many. <clears throat> so for them to actually say, hey. Yeah, know. the doctor today, he was like, um, he's like, it's nice to finally put a name to the face. Your name pops up on the transplant list all the time, but it's never been a perfect match. Yeah. And we're like, what? Yeah, like, oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, hope. Yeah, I think that was like the icing on the cake. Despite, you know, the little setback to know that, you know, it just, it's, it's. I mean, I'm hopeful, we're hopeful, but it definitely was great words of encouragement, you know, to yeah. just kind of hang in there because, you know, it can happen tomorrow, it can happen a week from now, and it's more possible now than before. Yeah. Uh, not only because we know that my name is coming up, but because I just experienced my first try run. And also they said that, you know, we could get a transplant <coughs> call again and we could get all the way there and he can get all the way on the operating table. And if the surgeon feels like something's not right, then he'll stop it. And he said that that happens all the time. So it's something that other people have gone through um, and it sucks, but you just have to remember that everything happens for a reason and God is in control and you are going to get the lungs that you are meant to get. Sooner or later. Yes, whether yeah. it, he knows when it's going to happen. And we also want to thank you guys for all your comments on my sister's video um, and your prayers and thoughts and on Instagram and Facebook. Um, we appreciate it so much and we're like seriously overwhelmed with yeah. all the love that we've gotten for this dry run <laughs> i can't even imagine when the actual transplant happens i know it's gonna be crazy but at the end of the day you know what things happen for a reason yeah it's a little corny but it's true um and you just don't lose hope and you keep your faith strong uh, but before we do end this video we do want to say a prayer for the recipient um who at the end of the day has received a check us <laughs> I was gonna say a chicken. <laughs> Who has received the second chance of life? Okay, sorry guys, our camera died. Yeah, but died. yes, please say a prayer for the donor. Um, I honestly tear up just thinking about it. Like you hear about it and you like know that someone's gonna pass for that to happen. But last night, like I was just thinking and I just sat there like crying because I'm like, someone just, Tell you me. know, like we're celebrating. And someone is mourning. mourning. That sucks. It, it's just like weird to think about, and when, like, it personally affects you and your family, and you know that someone had to pass, and that like, someone else is sad, and you're celebrating. It's just like a lot to. It's take an in. unfair cycle, but yeah, but you know, it also brings the joy of like being a donor. Yeah, you know, like. It shows literally how important it is to <coughs> be a donor and make that decision and know that literally like you guys see right now because someone chose to be a donor they're saving Jose's life you know and that's like that's crazy to think about yeah. by them just making that simple decision at the end of the day that's our goal guys is bringing awareness to the CF community um, and also making sure that everyone out there can enlist to be, a donor. to be a donor so thank you guys for you know supporting us yes. through this little roller coaster of a ride but <clears throat> you know yes. hope is still there it hasn't been lost and we're gonna continue life as normal prank videos are still on we actually yeah. have one i pranked him the other day <laughs> no it was no, actually it was the day that we got yesterday. the call yeah we, i pranked him like <coughs> hours before we got the call so that'll be funny but and and to all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing yes, to the Not so Ready much. Live. We hope that you enjoy this journey with us. And, you know, thanks again. But, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. And we will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.